I'm drifting and drifting Just like a ship out on the sea I'm drifting and drifting Just like a ship out on the sea Well, I ain't got nobody in this old world care for me. I'll give you all my money. I'm Danny Bryant. I'm an English, uh, well, people like to categorize, so they would call me a, a blues, a blues guitar player and singer, but, uh, I like to write a lot of songs as well, so I listen to a lot of different genres of music. Um, but I play a lot of guitar, so I guess if you if you put it into a category, it would be blues, blues rock. You're a sweet little girl, but I just swear you won't be true. Um, there wasn't one exact light bulb moment because I grew up with it in in the house my parents uh, had a lot of blues around the house and uh, my dad played acoustic blues at home so it was always around but then there were there were there were periods where I, I, I it would it would more and more catch my ear and then and then it became something that I wanted to do and then I think like most most uh, kids and, and young teenagers uh, they, they want to get an electric guitar, I was going to say, especially boys, but luckily a lot of females now are, are doing the same thing. And I think that a lot of people do gravitate towards this genre of music because it does, you know, the guitar is usually predominantly the lead instrument. When I write a song, I um, I don't really have a clear method. Uh, sometimes it's uh, the best ones, like everybody says, it's a cliche. They're the ones that come really quickly, and they almost come uh, ready formed. It's like the, they were they were hanging around somewhere in the air, and mm -hmm. you just needed to pull them out of the air and put them on paper. They're the ones that wake you up in the middle of the night and won't let you sleep, and you and that does happen, and you have to get those down quick. Um, and other ones get constructed almost like a, a mathematical equation. You'll have some lyrics from one song and, and um, a really good hook from another one and one part of one song isn't working, one part of the other one isn't working, you put the two together. Um, as long as you get a song out of it at the end that means something to you, um, then I don't think it matters what way round you get it. But uh, so the long way round to that answer is I don't have a I don't have a starting point, it depends. Someday the rains will fall when you expect them least Someday the rains will fall Someday the rains will fall when you expect them least Someday the rains will fall When I first came down here My specific definition of the blues is a display of emotion from inside. I don't think you can play the blues unless you're feeling it. I don't think you need to be massively technically proficient. Um, I don't think race, gender, um, age has anything to do with it. I think that it's about human emotion and human expression. Uh, maybe the only thing out of those that I've just mentioned, uh, I guess with age you gain more experience, so you, you might have a little bit more to say. But then some people can have lived three lifetimes when they're 20, and some people can live to 80 and... and never have experienced one so that's it's hard to say I can see my reflection and shining high 
I have a new album came out in April on the 20th of April it's called Revelation um, don't ask me what number it is because I think I think it's about album 11 or something like that um, so uh, but it's it's had it's had the best reviews I've ever had which is is always uh, gratifying you, you never know how people are gonna respond to it any day God knows I shall be released. There's a song on there called Re uh, Revelation, which I, I actually wrote um, after we, we visited Auschwitz when we were on tour. We had a day off and uh, and I came back to the hotel and wrote those 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 lyrics and it and it comes back to this this uh, this theme revelation and um, and then when it, when it comes time and you, you you meet with the record company and you decide what to call the album we all agreed that um, that best represented the the, um, the collection of songs. Try to sing this song. I've been out. On the highway, lonely as it seems, I've been chasing these memories. Do you know what triggered me when I visited Auschwitz the most was the fact that it could happen again so easily. That was the thing that, that disturbed me the most. Um, because what happened there was obviously the biggest stain on history. Um, but it, it happened, and and it's it's you know the worst thing you could possibly imagine. But that can't be that can't be forgotten. But it also can't be changed. But but we can change the fact that that, that could happen again. And unfortunately, I don't, I don't like getting political interviews. But you know we're we're kind of seeing that happen again, very slightly at the moment. So it, it worries me. And so so uh, yeah. So I thought Revelation was 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 an apt title. I'm back in New Orleans Back in New Orleans In the morning I shiver I shake with the pain Well, I just love people for supporting blues music uh, uh, Any kind of music, really um, I think music is, is um, a great, you know, a great healer a great way of passing a message across and don't forget it's fun at the end of the day it's about fun I'm back in New Orleans tonight well that was an exclusive because I only wrote it about a day ago so <laughs> it'll probably change a bit but there you go that was an exclusive to finish with